The adversary constantly seeks opportunities to harm you as a child of the Most High. Fortunately, the word already provides you with assured protection. Even the name Emmanuel, that Jesus bears, is an additional guarantee of your safety. When doubt creeps in regarding God's promise of protection, all you need to do is to pray this prayer. So let's pray. Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge your sovereignty and power. Psalm 91 declares that I rest in the shadow of the Almighty since I dwell in the shelter of the Most High. I trust in your promise that will cover me with your feathers and under your wings I will find refuge. Your faithfulness will be my shield and rampart. I will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. I believe in your protection, Lord, for you command your angels concerning me to guard me in all my ways. They will lift me up in their hands so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. Thank you, Father, for your unwavering protection and love. I trust in you completely and surrender my fears and anxieties into your capable hands. Also come before you with a heart of full of gratitude for the precious gift of family, Heavenly Father. I plead for your divine protection over my family. Surround us with your mighty angels shielding us from harm and danger. Psalm 121 verses 7 and 8 remind me that you will keep us from all evil and you watch over our lives both now and forevermore. I trust in your unfailing protection, Lord, and I place my family under your loving care. Guard our home against any negativity, illness or strife. Let your peace reign in every corner and may your presence be felt by each family member. I also pray for wisdom and discernment to make choices that align with your will, ensuring the safety and well-being of my loved ones. Thank you, Father, for your promise of protection. I surrender my family into your capable hands, knowing that with you, we are secure. Father, I trust in your healing power and divine protection. Your word in 9 to 1, chapter of Psalm, verse 10 assures me that no evil shall befall me, nor plague shall come near my dwelling. In these times of sickness and uncertainty, I seek your shield of protection around me and my loved one. Isaiah 4 to understand, remind me not to fear, for you are with us, our God who strengthens and upholds us with your righteous right hand. Lord, I claim this assurance of strength and protection against all sickness and disease. I pray for your wisdom to make healthy choices and for your grace to guard my body and immune system. Please surround me with your healing presence, shielding me from any illness that may try to harm me. Because of the name of Jesus, I trust your divine protection, Lord, knowing that you are my refuge and fortress. May your peace which surpasses all understanding guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. As mentioned in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7, Gracious Father, thank you for the talents and opportunities you have bestowed upon me in my career. I acknowledge that my skills and aspirations are a gift from you and I seek your divine protection over my professional journey. Guard me against obstacles and challenges that may hinder my progress. Your word in Jeremiah 29 11 assures me of your plans to prosper me and not to harm me, to give me hope and a future. I trust in your divine plan for my career and ask for your guidance and in every decision I make. Protect me from workplace conflicts, unfair treatment and uncertainty about the future. Grant me wisdom and discernment to navigate challenges and make choices that align with your will. I pray for favor in the eyes of superiors and colleagues as mentioned in Proverbs chapter 22 verse 25. Bless my efforts, Lord, so that they may glorify you and be a source of blessing to others. Thank you, Father, for your constant presence in my career. I trust in your protection and rely on your grace to guide me toward a successful and fulfilling professional life. 
Dear Heavenly Father, with a gratitude in my heart, I come before you for the business you have blessed me with. Your word in Proverbs 16 verse 3 reminds me to commit my work to you and plans will be established. I surrender my business into your capable hands, seeking your divine protection and guidance. I claim the promise in Deuteronomy 28 verse 6. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Lord, I ask for your divine protection over my business transactions, partnerships, and ventures. Guard me against deceit, financial pitfalls, and unforeseen challenges. Grant me the discernment to make wise decisions and the courage to face uncertainties. I trust in your promise. From Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I declare this truth over my business, believing that no harm shall befall it under your protection. I pray for your favor in the eyes of clients, partners and suppliers as mentioned in Proverbs 3 verse 4. So you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Bless my endeavors so that they may not only prosper me, but also be a source of blessing to others. Father, I approach you admitting the spiritual battles we face. Your word in Ephesians 6.16 reminds me of the shield of faith that can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. I pray for your divine protection against the unseen arrows of the devil as I release my shield of faith. And I declare the truth in Psalm 91 verse 4. You will cover me with your feathers and underneath your wings I will find refuge. The faithfulness will be my shield and rampart. Father, I trust in your unwavering faithfulness and your shield of protection around me and my loved ones. I put on the full armor of God, written in Ephesians 6:11, to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. I guard my waist with truth, put on the breastplate of righteousness, shod my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, take up the shield of faith, wear the helmet of salvation and will the sword of the spirit which is your word i rebuke any negative influence fear or doubt that the enemy may try to instill i claim the victory in 1 john 4 4 greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world i stand firm in your strength lord knowing that no weapon formed against me shall prosper Mighty God, I recognize your sovereignty and the precious gift of your life that you have given me. I seek your divine protection over every aspect of my existence. Guard me against seen and unseen dangers, both physical and spiritual. I claim the promise in Psalm 91 verses 11 and 12, for you will command your angels concerning me to guide me in all my ways. They will lift me up on their hands so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. I trust in your protective angels to protect me and my loved ones. Dear Lord, I entrust my present and future in your hands. Shield me from harm, illness and adversity. Grant me the strength to face of challenges with courage and wisdom to make sound decisions. The word in Isaiah 41.10 reassures me, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I place my trust in your unfailing love and protection. I know that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, as mentioned in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. I surrender my fears and anxieties to you, knowing that you are my refuge and fortress. Thank you, Lord, for your constant watch over my life. With faith in your divine protection, I move forward, secure in the knowledge that I am held in the palm of your hand. Thank you, Father, for your unwavering love and protection. I place my trust in you completely, believing in your power to shield me from sickness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge your guiding presence in my life, just as a shepherd cares for and protects his flock. You watch over me with unwavering love. I rest in the blessed assurance that I lack nothing under the divine care. 
With my heart open to grace, I offer my gratitude and I solace in your unwavering guidance. As I am back on the day's journey, I embrace the tranquility of your word, finding strength and serenity in your gentle presence. What more meaningful way to embrace the dawn of a new day than to bask in the certainty of God's steadfast love, letting him lead my every step while I draw strength and grace from his divine presence. Lord, I entrust this day to your care. Align my actions with your teachings as your word in Psalm 119. There's 133 guiding me to decisions that honor you and glorify your name, granting me the wisdom to do so. As the sun rises and the world awakens, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. Your word tells me in Psalm 118 verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. I rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, I rejoice in this new day that you have gifted me. I thank you, Lord, for the breath of life, for the opportunity to witness the beauty of your creation and for the blessings you bestow upon me daily. Your grace is my constant companion and your love is my guide and light. Proverbs 8 17 says, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently find me. Lord, I diligently seek you. Fill my heart with your wisdom so I may navigate this day with discernment and understanding. Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 to 23 remind me the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercy never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I am in awe of your faithfulness, Lord. I trust in your mercy and grace to sustain me through the challenges of this day. Guide my steps, O Lord. According to your word in Psalm 119 verse 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Illuminate my part with your truth and let me walk in the way of righteousness recognizing the truth of your word. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going both now and forevermore. Lord, I am filled with gratitude knowing that my going out and my coming in are blessed by your divine presence and protection. I pray for strength to face the trials and patience to endure the waiting, knowing that your timing is perfect. As Romans 8.28 assures me, and we know that in all things God works for good for those who love him. May I find peace in your divine plan. Lord, I lift up my loved ones to you. May your protection surround them and your love encompass them. Grant them good health, joy and prosperity. Help us to support and uplift one another in love just as you have loved us first. Philippians 4, 6-7 Your word encourages me. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I cast all my worries and concerns upon you, Lord, and I receive your peace that transcends all understanding. As I step out into the world, I carry your blessings with me. May your favor surround me like a shield, according to Psalm 5 verse 12, guiding my steps and opening doors of opportunities. I trust that every endeavor I pursue is under the canopy of your grace, and I move forward with confidence knowing that you are with me. In the name of Jesus, I pray for protection against any harm or evil that may try to befall me. Your word assures me in Psalm 91 verses 11 to 12, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. I take refuge in the shadow of your wings, knowing that I am safe and secure in your hands. Lord, I acknowledge that every blessing in my life, whether big or small, comes from you. I am humbled by your grace and mercy, and I give thanks for your faithfulness that endures forever. According to Psalm 136 verse 26, May I be a vessel of your blessings to others, sharing your love and compassion with the world. May his favor be upon me and a thousand generations. Exodus 20 verse 6 says so. 
Lord, I am humbled by your boundless favor that spans across time and lineage. I pray not only for myself but for my family and my friends and all those who will come after me. May your favor be a legacy that shapes our lives, a guiding light that leads us towards your eternal blessings. Bless us, O Lord, with your favor that surpasses understanding, filling our lives with abundance, joy, and peace. Your promise resonates within me. He teaches my hands to make wealth. Psalm 144 verse 1. Lord, I am in awe of your guidance and provision, allowing my hands to be skilled in the pursuit of abundance. I acknowledge your role as the ultimate source of wisdom and creativity. As I am back on this new day, I ask for your divine wisdom to guide my decisions and actions, open my mind to innovative ideas and opportunities so my efforts may yield fruitful results in the name of Jesus. Teach me, O oh Lord, to be diligent and discerning, to use my skills and talents for the betterment of my life and those around me. May the work of my hands be a testament to your grace, reflecting integrity, compassion, and generosity. Lord, bless my hands as I labor. Bless my mind as I plan. Bless my heart as I give. May the wealth I require be a means to spread your love and kindness, bring in joy and relief to those in need. As I step out into this new day, I do so with confidence knowing that I am a beloved child of God, redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May my words and actions reflect your love and grace to everyone I encounter. I praise you for the assurance that your blessings are not limited by circumstances or worldly measures. Your blessings are abundant, overflowing and eternal. I receive them with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit of humility. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Times of closed doors can be incredibly frustrating as they often coincide with circumstances not unfolding in your favor. Such a life doesn't align with the life our Lord Jesus Christ desires for you as his child. Thus, you can participate in this prayer seeking open doors to live the life Christ and visions for you. So let's pray this prayer with faith knowing that it is done already. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus, acknowledging your sovereignty over my life. Your word in Revelation 3, 8 gives me hope See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I come to you seeking open doors in all aspects of my life. I pray that you open doors of opportunity and blessing in my life. Just as you have the power to open doors, I trust in your divine plan for my journey. Help me to recognize the open doors you place before me and to step through them with confidence. I ask for your guidance and wisdom to make the most of these opportunities and to bring glory to your name. Grant me the strength to overcome any obstacles and challenges that may come my way. I trust in your timing and your perfect plan for my life. May your will be done in all things and may I walk in the path you've prepared for me. Precious Father, I recognize your promise in Isaiah 22 verse 22. I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. I trust in your divine authority and your ability to open doors that no one can close. I ask for your guidance and favor in my life that you may open doors of opportunities, blessing and provision, just as you entrusted the key to the house of David. I seek your guidance and authority over the doors of my life. May the doors you open lead to parts of purpose and fulfillment in the name of Jesus. I surrender my plans and desires to you, knowing that your ways are higher than mine. May your divine wisdom be my guide in every decision I make. 
I also pray for protection over the doors you open, that no harm or hindrance may come upon me. Keep me safe and secure as I step into the opportunities you provide. I place my trust in you, Lord, as one who holds the keys to my life's doors. Father, with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit filled with hope, I come before you. You are the God of endless possibilities, the one who opens doors that no one can shut. I humbly ask for your divine intervention in my family. Just as you guided Cyrus, you're anointed by the right hand to open doors and subdue nations in Isaiah 45 verse 1. I lift up my family to you, seeking your divine favor and blessings. I ask that you take each member of my family by the right hand and lead them on the part you have prepared for them. Just as you lose the loins of kings for Cyrus, we pray that you remove any obstacle and hindrances that may stand in their way. I pray for open doors in the lives of my family members. May your divine favor and opportunities flow into our home. May the gates that have been shut against us be flung wide open by your hand. In the name of Jesus, grant them the wisdom and courage to walk through doors with faith and confidence, knowing that you are with us. I come before you with a heart filled with reverence and gratitude. Acknowledging the words of Psalm 24 verse 7 which say, Lift up your heads, O you gate, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. I pray that the gates and ancient doors in my life symbolizing barriers, challenges, and opportunities will be lifted up, just as you, the King of glory, seeks to enter. I invite your divine presence and blessings to flow into my life, open the doors of opportunity, prosperity and success in my journey. Remove any obstacle that stand in my way, for I trust in your divine plan and guidance. May I experience the fullness of your glory in every aspect of my life. Grant me the wisdom to recognize the doors you open and the courage to walk through them. I seek guidance in all my endeavors, knowing that you are the ultimate source of all blessings. Lord, I surrender to your will, trusting that the doors you open are for good. As I lift my head in hope and anticipation, may your glory shine upon me and illuminate my path. Almighty Father, for the opportunities you have already provided in my work and business, I approach you with a heart dreaming with thankfulness. Your word in Isaiah 43, 19 reminds me that you are the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. I claim this promise and ask for your guidance, provision and favor in my professional endeavors. I pray that you will open new doors of opportunities in my work and business. May you bring forth fresh streams of creativity and innovation, allowing me to adapt to changing circumstances and prosper in all I do. Help me to see the potential in challenges and obstacles just as you bring forth springs in the wilderness. Grant me wisdom, discernment and a heart filled with faith as I navigate my career and business ventures. Give me the courage to step out in faith and seize the opportunities you place before me. Let your divine light shine on the path ahead, illuminating the way to success and abundance. I trust in your divine plan for my life and business, knowing that you're always working for my good. I surrender my plans and ambitions to you, seeking your will above all else. With open hands and open heart, I receive the blessings and opportunities that you have in store for me. I approach your throne with gratitude and humble heart, recognizing the promise in Hosea 2.15, where it says, I will give her her vineyards from there and the valley of Acre as a door of hope. Lord, I trust in your faithfulness and your ability to turn even the valleys of trouble into doors of hope. I pray that you open doors of opportunities, restoration and hope in my life. Just as you promised vineyards and a door of hope to your people, I seek your guidance and provision in my journey. May the challenges I face be transformed into opportunities for growth and blessing. Please bestow to me the wisdom to perceive the opportunities you provide and the bravery to embrace them. May your divine wisdom be my guide in all my decisions and endeavors. 
Lord, I surrender my plans and desires to your will, knowing that your ways are higher than mine. I trust that the doors you open are for my ultimate good and the fulfillment of your purpose in my life. I stand firm, believing that you are the God of open doors. Takes you. I entrust my life into your loving hands, knowing that you're working all things together for my good. Thank you, Father, for your boundless love, guidance, and the doors you're about to open. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. The Bible contains numerous commands from God, encouraging people to be courageous rather than succumbing to fear. Allowing fear to dominate your life can create an opportunity for negative influences, such as the devil to introduce doubt and hinder you from receiving the blessings you should have through faith. To maintain a life characterized by faith rather than fear, you can pray this prayer with me. So let's pray. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, your word in Joshua 1 verse 9 reminds me to be strong and courageous, not to be afraid or discouraged, for you are with me wherever I go. I cling to this promise, trusting in your unwavering presence and love. I surrender my fears and anxieties to you as your perfect love casts out all fears. As stated in 1 John 4 verse 18, I pray for the courage to face the unknown, knowing that you have plans for me, plans to prosper and not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. Fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding, as mentioned in Philippians 4, 7. Help me to trust in your divine wisdom and guidance, even when I cannot see the road ahead. Strengthen my faith, Lord, and help me to walk confidently, knowing that you are in control of every aspect of my life. Dear Lord, grant me the courage to live each day without fear, knowing that you are my refuge and fortress. I surrender my anxieties about the unknown future and embrace your peace that surpasses all understanding as in Philippians 4, 7. Help me to trust in your perfect timing and divine protection. I declare with faith that I will live a long and fulfilling life, serving you and fulfilling the purposes you have for me. Thank you for all your love that casts all fears and for the courage you provide in times of uncertainty. I come before you knowing and acknowledging my fear of insecurities and the evil schemes of the devil that attempt to undermine my confidence and peace. Your word reminds me in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 that you have not given me a spirit of fear but of love, power and a sound mind. I claim the stress over my life. And Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you recognizing the words of Ephesians 6.10, which reminds us to be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Lord, I speak the strength and courage that can only come from you in moments of fear and doubt. I ask for your divine courage to fill my heart. Help me to be strong in the face of challenges and adversity, knowing that your strength is my refuge. Grant me the courage to stand firm in my faith to face difficulties with resilience and to overcome obstacles with unwavering determination. I surrender my fears and weaknesses to you, for I know that your strength is made perfect in my weakness. With your might as my foundation, I can confront any obstacle or fear that stands in my way. Gracious Father, as the psalmist wrote in Psalm 56 verses 3 and 4, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God whose word I praise, in God I trust. I should not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? I come before you seeking courage and trust for my family. I place my family members' fear and anxieties in your hands, knowing that you are our refuge and strength. Grant my family the courage to face the challenges and uncertainties that life presents. Help them to put their trust in you just as the psalmist did, and then to find comfort in your word. May they be unshaken by fear, knowing that with you on their side, there is no need for anxiety. I surrender all their concerns and worries to you, asking for your guidance, protection, and courage. Fill their hearts with faith and confidence, knowing that you are with us in every situation. 
Dear Lord, your words in Psalm 27 verse 1 remind me that you are my light and my salvation. In times of darkness and fear, you are the unwavering source of courage that I can turn to. You are my refuge, my strength and my protector. With you, I need not fear anything that the world may bring my way. As I journey through life, I often encounter challenges that test my courage. These challenges can be daunting, causing me to doubt my abilities and question the path ahead. Yet, I know that in your light, there is no room for darkness and in your salvation, there is no room for fear. Presence alone is enough to banish the shadows of uncertainty and despair. When doubt and anxiety attempt to overwhelm me, let me remember that you are the strength of my life, the foundation upon which I can build my courage. Your promise of protection and guidance is my anchor in the storm. In moments of weakness, may your light shine upon me, illuminating the path before me and dispelling the fears that try to cloud my vision. With your presence as my constant companion, I can boldly move forward knowing that you are with me every step of the way. I pray that you will fill me with the courage to conquer my fears, to overcome my doubts and to walk in your light with unwavering faith. Your love is my source of strength and in your embrace I find the courage to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Heavenly Father, your word in 1 Corinthians 16, 13, calls me to be watchful and stand firm in the faith and be strong. Help me remain watchful in a world filled with uncertainties, distractions and challenges where it's often difficult to stay vigilant. Dear Father, help me to keep my eyes fixed on you as my ultimate source of courage. May I not be swayed by fear or doubt, but find strength in the knowledge of your presence. Grant me the perseverance to stand firm in my faith. When adversity comes knocking, let my roots run deep in your word so I can weather life storms with resilience. Help me stand unwaveringly on the solid foundation of your truth. I seek the strength to be strong in all aspects of my life, whether I face personal struggles, societal pressures or challenges on my spiritual journey infuse me with your divine power strengthen my resolve to face each day with confidence knowing that you are my stronghold loving father your word in psalm 31 24 serves as a reminder for me to be strong and take heart placing my hope in you as i humbly approach your presence i seek wisdom and inner strength to nurture enduring bravery in my life, even when confronted with challenges and uncertainties. In the world often rife with obstacles, doubts, and moments of turmoil, it can be all too easy to become disheartened. Help me, dear Lord, to stay aware that you are my sanctuary, the steadfast support. I derive my strength from your unchanging love and the hope that resides in your assurances. Bestow upon me, Father, courage to confront each day with determination and strength. In moments of vulnerability, help me discover my resilience in you, recognizing that you are the wellspring of my courage. May I face the unknown without fear, assured of your guidance through life's trials. When I encounter difficulty or challenges, prompt me to be strong and take heart. Let your word shield me and may your presence be my constant companion. Remind me that my hope does not rely on the circumstances of this world, but on your eternal love and grace. I entrust my faith in you, acknowledging that with your support, I can overcome any huddle or adversity that comes my way. The strength empowers me and your love emboldens me in the face of fear, doubt or uncertainty. I choose to stand strong and remain steadfast, for you are my unshakable foundation and my ultimate source of salvation. May this prayer serve as a testament to my commitment to live with lasting courage, continually placing my hope in you, dear Lord Jesus. I am prepared to embrace each day with renewed vigor, secure in the knowledge that you are my sanctuary and the wellspring of my unwavering courage. 
In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The significance of a good night's sleep cannot be overstated. It's widely recognized that a well-rested individual is highly productive. A crucial factor is in achieving a peaceful night's rest, is spending time in the comforting presence of our Lord Jesus Christ before bedtime. It is a place of comfort where you can release all your daily worries and peacefully sleep as you spend time in his presence before going to sleep. So you can pray this prayer along with me. Heavenly Father, as I prepare to rest, I find solace in your vigilant care over me. The scripture in Psalm 127 verse 1 echoes in my heart, unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. I draw comfort from the knowledge that your divine shield envelops me, my cherished ones and my home. I entrust my safety into your hands, recognizing that my ultimate protection comes from your unwavering love and faithfulness, shielding me from all harm. I release any fears of anxiety, knowing you are our secure refuge and steadfast fortress. God, my home, Father, shield us from both sin and unseen dangers. In the physical and spiritual realms, let your angels encycle us, forming an impenetrable barrier. I trust completely in your steadfast protection, and I commit my city and our lives into your sovereign care. With heartfelt gratitude and unwavering confidence, I rest peacefully in the sanctuary of your watchful presence. Almighty Father, as I lay down to rest, I bring before you my worries and anxieties, trusting in your promise. I cast all my concerns upon you because I know you care for me. And I surrender my fears, my hopes and my uncertainties, placing them at the foot of your throne. I ask for your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, to guard my heart and mind in Jesus, as in Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. May your calming presence envelope me, granting me a serene and undisturbed sleep. I release the events of the day and the concerns for tomorrow into your capable hands. Help me to rest in the assurance that you are in control and I need not be anxious. Thank you, Father, for your unwavering love and constant care. I trust in your perfect peace as I close my eyes and surrender my cares to you. Gracious Father, I come before you weary and restless, burdened by the weight of sleeplessness. Your word reminds us in Psalm 4 verse 8 that you alone can make us dwell in safety and peace. I surrender my sleeplessness into your caring hands. Lord, I ask for your calming presence to envelope me, soothing my mind and easing my anxiety. Your peace which surpasses all understanding is my refuge. Help me release the worries that keep me awake knowing that you are in control of all things. I rebuke the spirit of insomnia in the name of Jesus. Your word assures us in Isaiah 26 verse 3 that you will keep at peace whose minds are stayed before you because they trust in you. I choose to trust in you, relying on your promise of peace and rest. I surrender my concerns to you and trust that you will work all things for my good, even my sleepless nights. Thank you, Father, for your unwavering love and your promise of rest for the weary. I lay down my burdens at your feet and trust in your peace to keep me and guide me into a restful sleep. As I lay my head to sleep, I bring before you my dear family and friends. Precious Father, you have blessed me with these precious souls and I am thankful for their presence in my life. I ask for your divine protection and blessings upon each one of them. For my family, Lord, I pray for unity, understanding and unending love among us. Help us to support and uplift one another and grant us patience and wisdom in our interactions. May our home be filled with your peace and laughter and may your grace guide us in every step we take together. For my friends, I ask for your guidance and blessings in their lives. Strengthen the bonds of friendship between us and grant us the ability to be there for each other in times of joy and sorrow. Bless them with good health, happiness and success in their endeavors. I also lift up those who are facing challenges and difficulties. 
comfort the grieving, heal the sick and provide for those in need. Jeremiah 29 11 reminds us of your plans to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us hope and a future. I pray that these promises manifest in the lives of my family and friends. May your blessings surround us and may we wake up tomorrow refreshed and grateful for the love we share. Merciful Father, as I get ready to sleep, my heart is heavy with thoughts of my homeland. I lift up my country before you, knowing that you are the ultimate sovereign, the one who holds nations in your hands. I pray for peace to reign in every corner, for wisdom to guide our leaders and for unity to bind us together. Father, grant my nation strength in times of adversity and compassion in times of prosperity. Help us to be a beacon of kindness, understanding and love. Bless our people with resilience, empathy and the spirit of cooperation. Your word in Proverbs 14.34 reminds me that righteousness exalts a nation and I pray for a revival of righteousness and justice in our land. I pray for those in position of authority that you may grant them wisdom, discernment and a heart inclined towards the well-being of the people. Your word in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 2 urges us to pray for our leaders and I lift them up to you asking for guidance in their decisions. Lord, I entrust the future of my country into your hands knowing that you have a plan and a purpose for us. Help us to be a nation that honors you, respects one another and stands for what is good and just. Your grace, mercy and love are our foundation and I pray that they may permeate every aspect of our society. Thank you, Father, for your unending love for my country. I trust in your divine plan and rest in the assurance that you are in control. May your blessings continue to shower upon us and may your peace prevail over this land. As I prepare to close my eyes, I bring before you, mighty Father, my dreams, my hopes, my fears. You know the desires of my heart, the aspirations that keep me going, and the uncertainties that sometimes cloud my thoughts. I surrender them all to you, trusting in your divine wisdom and grace. Lord, I pray for my dreams to be guided by your light, that they may align with your purpose for my life. Bless my endeavors and grant me the strength and determination to pursue them with faith and perseverance. Jeremiah 29 11 assures me of your plans to prosper me and give me hope and I hold on to your word and this promise for my dreams. I lift up my hopes to you dear God. Help me to maintain optimism even in the face of challenges. Let my hopes be anchored in your promises knowing that you are faithful. May my expectation be an alignment with your will and may they lead me closer to you. I lay my fears at your feet, cast away my anxiety, for your perfect love drives out fear. As stated in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, grant me courage to face the unknown, faith to overcome doubt and peace to quell my worries. I trust in your divine plan for my life. I rest in the assurance that my dreams and hopes are safe in your hands and my fears are dispelled by your love. Thank you, Lord, for your unending support. With gratitude and anticipation, I surrender these thoughts to you. As I lay down, I am reminded of your comforting words in Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Lord, I come before you, weary from the day's challenges and burdens. I seek your rest, your peace that surpasses all understanding. I release my anxieties and worries into your hands knowing that you are my refuge and strength i surrender my struggles my thoughts my fears in exchange i receive your rest your calming presence that quiets my mind and comforts my heart thank you father for your invitation to find rest in you i trust in your promise and find solace in your embrace May your peace envelope me tonight, granting me a night of deep, rejuvenating sleep. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.